Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey and welcome to 90 at 9. Everything you need to start the day in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now. We're with news that the oil price has hit a fresh record of $114 a barrel overnight, partly on the US dollar, but there's also concerns about supply. Russian output fell in the first quarter for the first time in a decade. Russia is the world's largest producer of oil. OPEC is also refusing to increase supply, although many think it actually can't increase supply. There's also bad news on the demand front. Chinese diesel demand increased 49% in March, so there's no shortage of demand either. Elsewhere in the Northern Hemisphere, the auction rate debt market in the United States will simply cease to exist. That's according to Citigroup, who were once heavily involved in the market. Now, the auction rate debt market is particularly useful for local authorities and others in the states. They've borrowed about $330 billion with that market, but it's been frozen because of the credit crunch in recent months, and now Citigroup is saying it will simply cease to exist. Back closer to home, Vector is, is saying that it's got four bids for its Wellington Power Network, including bids from the China's State Grid Corporation and Hong Kong's Chung Kong. Now this is interesting because of the uh, recent debate over the Auckland airport. Will the government allow a Chinese state company to buy Wellington's power network? Or will it be a strategic and sensitive asset with someone we've just signed a free trade deal with? I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9 on interest.co.nz.